So basically, when I was reading this thing, you have to have a, is it to get that, do you have to pay for that subscription, or is it automatically? It's free for all yeah. optic TV subscribers. Okay, because I thought the way you had to, was reading it, that you have to have that application with it. The only thing that you have to have with it, of course, you have to subscribe to optic TV. Right. Is you have to have optic internet. And the reason oh, is... Oh, the optic internet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It, it's not actually, we're, we're not trying to bundle them mm -hmm. together per se. Okay. But you have to oh. have internet access to because Facebook is web. so you could have you could have internet access from another carrier and still have optic TV. That you can't do. And that's our right. that's our technical restriction because yeah. it has to go through the same home residential gateway. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to use Novus, for the, example, then. Pardon me. You wouldn't be able to use Novus fiber optic then. No. Uh, so that's the only uh, combination that you need is you have to have internet and then it will work. So if you don't have internet, it will come up with a message saying sorry. You don't access. The TV doesn't have the internet access. Um, so even though you think you have internet access, your TV does. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> TV is to have it. So, uh, well, why don't we go over here and I'll just uh, walk you through uh, what we've done. <coughs> cell phone, I got Facebook on the web. Why do I want it anywhere else? And the reason is, is because, you know, with convergence, we're finding different screens are better suited to different purposes. So the, the intent here wasn't, let's do, uh, let's do Facebook just for the sake of doing Facebook on TV. Let's do Facebook in terms of what Facebook would be best for on TV. So just walk you through uh, how we set it up here. The first thing you have to do is you, have, you go into your menu under the application setting here and you go into Facebook. And that will bring up the application. And if it's your first time in, you can go and you through the on-screen setup process and it does actually require you to go to your web and log into your Facebook uh, online account because of course you have to authorize it. This is, uh, you, you don't have any control over your Facebook settings from the Optic TV application. You can't change your security settings, it doesn't do any of that. You still have to do all of that through Facebook. And that's a safeguard, of course, right? Because there's lots of concerns around Facebook security. So we wanted to make this as safe as possible. Um, so what I've got here is, uh, we've got a few people who have actually already logged in. And I've logged in with my personal home Facebook account. So I'm just gonna click on my Facebook account here and type in my password. You just filmed that, I think, for everybody to well, see. That's actually, uh, well, that's actually, well, that's actually, your password is different from Facebook? Is Correct. It it is different. Yeah, okay. Facebook. So that basically tell us the only one that has the access to that. Correct. Okay. Yes. For security. That's exactly right. So now we've landed in here, and um, and it just you know to explain again why we're doing this, we're doing this because we think that there are things on Facebook that you know are better done on the TV screen as opposed to say the cell phone or possibly even the web. So what's great about Facebook on TV is it allows you to do more things with your TV screen, both in terms of what you're doing just sitting on the couch and what you're sharing with your larger Facebook community, either other Optic TV subscribers or um, you know, just other people who are up and on the go using Facebook in, in different places and different devices. So just to, to walk through a couple things, so I have logged in and it shows my profile picture up there, that's me and my son, and it shows some of the my recent wall posts. Uh, one of the interesting things we think that people are really going to like about this is you can actually go in here and I can post right now to my post, Oops, as long as I can hit the box. I can post that I'm watching uh, Pierce the Hand Raised Polar Bear on the Oasis channel. And I can go in and I can, I can just tell people this is what I'm watching and it'll come up in my Facebook po uh, post saying post it from Optic TV. Or I can actually express an opinion about it saying, nah, I don't like it, right? Like if I don't know what, like the way the hockey game's going, or if I think a movie stinks, uh, or if I think, hey, this is really cool, I like Pierce the Hand Raised Polar Bear, probably more like him than my son does. I've just posted to my friends, and that post is going to come up on my Facebook account for uh, everybody to see that this is what I'm watching uh, on Optic TV, and I think it's cool. So, is that what they actually carry the games? What's that? That's crazy. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what they Simply got cats. By the head. Yeah. So you go through. Oh, 
the other functionality, you can go to your, your home page, you can go to your wall, you can go and you can look at all of your friends online, so you can go to your friends' walls. Um, but, but really, I think one of the other things that people are really, is, uh, is really going to appeal to people is I can go in and I can look at my photos here. And more importantly, I can share these photos with my other Optic TV users, because you know, again, to the point that there are some things that are probably you know, better done on the TV, the you know, TV screen is obviously, you know, it's a great big screen. So if you actually want to view like a slideshow of all your photos that you have posted on Facebook, and by the way, Facebook now is reputedly the number one internet source for Facebook, their source for photo sharing on the web. So, you know, bigger than Picasso, bigger than Flipper, uh, that's pretty remarkable. So now what I can do is, you know, my mom and dad have uh, Optic TV in Victoria. I can post out uh, pictures of my son and they can go and log in and go into my profile, and they can actually do a slideshow on their TV, which, you know, let's face it, grandma and grandpa probably gonna like doing that, even though they're not uh, necessarily sophisticated with Facebook, it's fairly easy. So they can pull up the slideshow right on TV of, uh, of what uh, the pictures I'm posting. So we think that people are actually gonna really enjoy this. So how does this uh, new application uh, compare to something like Netflix? Well, Netflix is pretty different, right? Like Netflix is designed only to be a standalone application. They don't partner with any other carriers. Uh, and it's really, you know, it's long tail video content. It's not actually content that is uh, social necessarily. So with Facebook, I think what we're doing is two things. We're giving people a way to do, you know, more on the TV screen that is relevant to them. And we're also taking the content piece and being able to tie it into the social experience which means that you can actually tell people about what you're watching. Oh, and right now. Let's face it, different, different, I think, demographics are going to be more or less interested in that. You can, you can see already, like, you know, kids are going to go crazy with this. They're going to be sitting watching Gossip Girl or, or whatever, and they're going to be rating it. They're going to be posting in a, uh, an update from here to be able to post it. It's like, hey, I'm watching this. Can you believe that just happened? There's going to be a lot more community, I think, around different shows, different content. And then, of course, there's just the other piece that I think that People are, are going to be thrilled to have a way to be able to share their photos and, and to be able to go and look at their friends' photos on you know, the, what is typically the preferred screen in the home. So I think those are really the key things that people are going to like. And then as the, uh, as the product evolves, because of course, you know, we just launched it here and you know, we'd like to be able to introduce video because you know, uh, Facebook is set to become one of the, it's close to being one of the biggest video sites online, but, you know, obviously just behind YouTube. So, you know, we think that there are more applications, you know, more user experiences that we can facilitate on the TV screen that are actually relevant to the TV screen. And your age group you're basically focusing to get? Well, you know, it's available to everybody, so we're not necessarily targeting an age group. But I think the demographics will fairly closely mirror people that use Facebook today. Okay, so basically, you got a lot, of, a lot of the heaviest users probably is 55 plus. There we go. That's actually good because I think our customer base is a little bit older, actually, uh, yeah, as opposed to you know the, the 20 something. Right. That's changing now, but uh, uh, you know to the point of grandma and grandpa, that it's a perfect example. They have a Facebook account and they can get their friends' pictures or their family's pictures up on their TV screen. So what if someone has a, a video on their wall? Can you, can you play that video? You can't do that today, no. no. Okay. Any video but if I'm, yeah, I'm sure, is it the church is probably going to have that inspiration? Do you see that in Verizon? Uh, we absolutely. We, it's, it's something that we're working on, but I can't tell you exactly yeah. how and when we're going to do it. Well, so basically you can watch videos of your videos you've got on. It doesn't do video. So, for example, if I go to my uh, to my news feed, it's going to pull up my news feed here in just a second. And this is kind of one of the other the, the basic multitasking I think application that most people are going to use this for. There, I think a lot of people. I don't know what you know what you've observed in the wild, but I certainly see in my home like, there'll be like two or three people sitting on the couch, and probably two of them have like, you know, one eye on the TV screen and one eye on their cell phone or, or their laptop watching Facebook. So I, I think you're going to see more people doing this kind of thing where they've got their Facebook up and they're watching instead of talking to all. So it will just roll through your friend's updates and if you see one you like, you can grab it and you can go in and 
comment on it, you can like it. Um, most of the kind of the key things that you'll be able to do online. How would you be able to prevent people from streaming this onto, say, the internet from the TV here? Well, depending on how you did it, uh, I don't think there would be a way to prevent it. Um, but it wouldn't be easy. Uh, you know, I, I guess from a, a baseline out output, if you connected something to try and output from the back of the box, it's, uh, it has all the copy protections on it. And the box doesn't output the application, it only outputs the video. So I'm not sure that you know, there's a, an easy way to facilitate that. And, and even if you did, I'm, I'm not sure if there would be a, a concern that you have in mind there or not. Mm. And there's, I, I could see there being